Hello friends, so till now we have seen that uh, how to configure Cisco router, Cisco XR router to send telemetry data to telemetry receiver. Uh, we have also seen some of the important piece of configuration on pipeline that we need to configure from the receiver side. Now we are going to actually do it. So uh, we are going to install and uh, execute pipeline and we are going to install Influx database, we are going to install uh, Grafana and then we will see that uh, what we need to do to receive the data and see the graphs uh, for the data that we are receiving. So for that, first of all, we need to clone this particular directory which is, uh, uh, which is under GitHub. So from here you can clone it, you can just copy this particular link and what I have done is I have made a folder, a directory basically on my desktop. It is a pipeline uh, directory and here there is nothing right now. I am just going to git clone this link that I have. It has started cloning that uh, all the data which is there in, uh, in the directory. Uh, meanwhile, it is doing that. I'll show you what you need to do to have influx DB on your desktop or on your laptop. So this is the influx DB. You can just go to Google and type in influx DB download. You will whatever the first link that you receive. Just go to that link. And uh, right now I am using. Uh, it will just ask you some basic information, name, email address, etc. It is for free. Uh, the version that I am using here is 179. Uh, you can also use the beta version. I have not tested it though. Uh, so once you have it downloaded and installed, uh, you would see some command related to influx appearing on your device. So just do influx D and you would see that you know you are getting uh, let me see if version information is there. Okay, so it tells you that you know 1.7 uh, version that I am running 1.7.9, and this means that I have the Influx TV installed on this uh, PC, which is Ubuntu machine. And uh, let me just go ahead and start Influx DB so that you know, influx would start receiving the data. Uh, to start it, uh, the command that I have is influx d. I'll have to run it as sudo. So let me just type in my password. All right. So with this information, we know that the influx DB is running on my uh, laptop right now. Now let me see. Let me show you. Uh, you know the console that we get with with influx DB. Uh, you can just put an influx command, and it would uh, send you. It would take you to the console that we have for influx database. There you can run all kind of commands or query uh, to uh, queries to get some information from the database. Uh, you can actually browse into this database uh, management commands. Uh, this this particular link has all the commands that you can run on the database just to create database. This is the command that I have used uh, to create a database, which is MDT uh, DB. I'll show you that particular database. So uh, in order to see all the databases that are present in Influx, you just need to run show databases. And you will see that all the databases which are already present in the influx DB. So this is the one which I have created. This is the one which comes by default. I am using this one uh, to receive all the telemetry data which is coming from the router. Now let's see that we have uh, cloned everything or not. I think that was done. So once we have cloned all the directory from that particular link, uh, we'll get all this done messages and then I'll see that you know what it has created one directory I'll just browse browse to it big body uh, network telemetry uh, pipeline this is the complete name of this particular project let us see that what are the 
things that I have downloaded. Um, it has uh, inside this bin file, it has executable for the pipeline. Uh, the pipeline.con file, we have already talked about it. Uh, this particular file has uh, you know two stages one is input stage and other is output stage i'll take uh, i'll walk you through over it apart from that uh, the important folder here is tool folders uh, this tool folder has uh, you know grafana and prometheus etc we are not using prometheus we'll use grafana docker version of grafana so uh, you know, first of all let me show you the pipeline.con file how does it look um here if you open this particular pipeline.conf file it has lot of configuration there's a simple linux configuration file so if you want to configure something for example uh, my kafka uh, kafka it, uh, time series database so you will have to uncomment all the related field important fields and uh, then your kafka would be running as soon as i start uh, the pipeline uh, you know executable so let me show you the configuration file that i am going to use i am not going to use the configuration file which is um, downloaded from the directory i have my own customized configuration file which i am going to use here so i'll just download i'll just copy that particular configuration file before that i'll show you what's there in this so you can see that i have two stages configured here uh, rest of the part are commented so i'm not using these ones i probably can delete it also so uh, one is uh, input stage and another is output stage in input stage i have uh, defined the protocol and which port it should listen on the output stage is in flux db you know port and localhost the address and port basically and uh, you know the metric.json file which is converting the telemetry data into a json format which is understandable by influxdb basically the database which i am using is mdtdb um, i have already explained that how to create this database you just need to follow the document which is given on influxdb site so let me just copy this particular file and paste it in the directory i'll just save it i'll copy it from here and go to my desktop pipeline directory and i'll just control v and replace the existing file okay so this is the minimal configuration that you need to have in pipeline.com file once it is there you can just do cat and then uh, pipeline.com to see what is the content of pipeline.com file right now it is uh, you know it is it has been changed and to execute pipeline you just need to do dot and then go to bin directory and then do pipeline this is the directory where the execut executable is sitting with the name pipeline but you need to uh, run this command from a uh, big muddy directory itself because uh, the pipeline.con file is sitting in this directory if you go into bin directory and then run this uh, it will throw you some error so let me run this it is asking for uh, you know username password for influxdb which is admin admin that i have created and uh, now the pipeline is running on my router okay so it is receiving it has started receiving the data from the router now let's exit out from here and let me go to another important folder which is tools folder i'll show you cd big muddy cd tools cd monitor in the monitor uh, in this uh, particular folder i have grafana and prometheus and this run.sh which is a shell script i'm going to run this particular shell script what it will do, it will do is it will uh, uh, run the docker version of grafana and prometheus uh, this is very important because uh, the grafana i have not installed it separately i am go going to use the docker version of grafana from here you can also do it so i am going to use run.sh it will start grafana as well as prometheus i am not going to use prometheus i'll just use grafana for now 
let's see if it yes it does now let me show you dr ps all right our grafana is running our prometheus is running it's been three seconds uh you know since uh, i started it uh, now i should be able to go to browser and uh, uh, do local host colon 3000 3000 is the port on which grafana normally listens to all right so let me just open it excellent we have grafana here uh, i have already created admin admin as a username password now i am into grafana dashboard in grafana dashboard what we need to do is we need to go to the data source and we need to define a uh, you know another data source so here i don't have any data source defined as of yet we can just do uh, in flux db as my data source and for that you know uh, it is already giving you the url with the uh, port number 8086 that you can do and uh, the database which i i should use in the uh, you know in flux db it is mdt db that i have created username password is m admin admin let me just test it okay i need to and set it as default also let's add it all right this uh, green success message should be uh, visible because uh, that indicates that everything is working fine now let's go to the dashboard and we'll have to create a new dashboard here so i'll just go ahead and create a new dashboard um let's see uh, i just want to put a graph there and once this dashboard is created we need to go to the panel and edit that in this information in this information we need to select the measurement so uh, it has already queried the database and it has seen that some of the uh, you know generic uh, yang models are, are already there so i need to select some of them let me see the memory summary and uh, i need to put the fields here uh, i need to do free apply uh, free ram memory let me see and you know as soon as we have selected the right field it has uh, populated the uh, graph and uh, every 10 second fill zero as well and update it save it i think this is done i'll just go ahead and name it also memory all right so this is the grafana dashboard you can further go ahead and add rows into it and everything uh um, you know you can name the database whatever uh, you like you can uh, you know name the these uh, uh, graphs etc it you can make it more user friendly there is nothing much apart from this uh, you just need to take care of the configuration file uh, you just need to take care that you have uh, selected the right dashboard etc you just need to take care that you have all the configuration on the router in place uh all the ports that you have configured should be opened on your pc also on your router etc uh, this should be all let me know if you have any questions in comment box uh i would be happy to assist you over there